Welcome to another video in the shortcut video editing series. I'm Joe, you take handyman. In this video, I will show you how to create cinematic picture in picture effects using the shortcut video editor. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe, like, comment. If you're ready, let's dive right in. So guys, open your shortcut editor, go to open file and then bring in the clip that you want to work on. This is my first clip. This is the clip I'm going to be working on, the first one. So I'll drag it to the playlist and leave it there. Now we use the same method to bring in the second clip, just like so. And then um, I'll drag it to the playlist as well. Then go back to open file again to bring in the third clip. So with the third clip in the preview pane, I can easily drag it to the playlist and then I have all the three videos, but I'm going to be working with these two first for now. So I want to bring them to the timeline. So what I will do is to click this uh, plus button to have the first clip in the timeline and then use the hamburger button, go to track operations and add video track to bring in the second but I want this particular video to be on top the one that will play so I will drag it to the first video track leaving space for the second video below it so this is actually the second video then I will click the plus button to bring it onto the timeline just like so if you notice the size the video uh, length is not the same so I'm going to quickly reduce that by taking this is it by taking my playhead to the end of the first video using my S on the keyboard to cut and then uh, backspace to remove it. So I'm just going to uh, zoom uh, it on the timeline to play so you can see how it plays. This is the very first video and then if I turn it off and then you see the second one. This is actually the second video that we are going to be working on. So I'll turn it on again the first video that is. So um, what the first thing you want to do is to select the first video. Go to filters once you open the filters uh, pane type in mask now once you have the mask go to mask simple shape click on it and then it opens this control so you can see the mask effect has been activated is in the middle so the first thing uh, you want to do is to use these controls to uh, customize the masking first of all turn off the softness so that the edges are very sharp so you can see so you want to adjust the height and the width to the exact um, size and width that you want so the first thing you want to do is to increase that by 50 percent with if you increase it to 50 percent it will perfectly touch the top of your screen and the bottom just as is the case in front of you right now so the next thing is i'm going to increase the width so i'll just drag the width out a bit to increase it uh to leave it somewhere here so the width is perfectly adjusted as per what i'm doing at the moment so if i play the video you can see both of them are playing simultaneously the first one is playing but the uh the one behind is actually competing with the one in front for attention so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna blur i'm gonna add a blur effect on it so select the second clip go to filters again click the plus button and in the search bar you type in blur so once the blur is open go to blur exponential blur exponential means that the entire video will have the blur effect applied so i will just increase the blur amount notice is if i increase it to the maximum which is 100 percent everything is blurred out so uh, i'll just reduce it a bit so you see that something is somewhere there now as it stands if i play the video this is how it plays you can see the focus is on the video that is overlaying the other one the, the car driving and the other one is a little bit blurred out just like so you can play around with the blur um, effect to get the exact um, blow amount that you want so i want to reduce the width again so you can see properly what's happening at the back uh the the other clip behind the one in front in front so if i play it you can see that the video behind is actually uh blood like that now you can actually apply the same thing on a still video a, a still photo that is to say you can use a picture to actually use it as a video background as is the case here so i will remove this one this first one 
um the one that, that is behind so i'm using this photo this is actually a photo not a video so um i will bring it into the timeline by clicking the plus here to have it on the timeline and then once i have it in the timeline i will quickly want to um adjust the uh the length so that they are this of the same length so the first thing i did is to um uh play around with the zoom and then you notice once i drag the video to increase the length the first video is split so once what you do is to lock that particular clip before moving around the other clip so the first one is not distorted or cut or moved around alongside so that's another pro tip that you've learned in this particular video now so um if i play uh, assistance now you have the sides uh, the dark edges um, right there so we remove that by selecting it going to filter size position and rotate i think we've done something on this function uh, quite a number of times on this particular series so you increase it a bit and then drag the zoom out to zoom out so everything fits into the screen now back to the first i will remove the first filters and then add another one uh, the same thing so click on filters the plus button and type in mask then go all the way to mask simple shape and then once you have mask simple shape turn it on because we turned it off before you can see it is activated so the next thing you want to do is to control the height um, as it is and the width so first the height increase the height to around 50 percent just like so you can see the the video is blurry because the softness is still somewhere 20 percent so we re remove the softness and then increase the width to have uh, the exact width that we want so the width is actually set now so uh, as it stands if i play it you can see the the back the, the photo behind is still while the video in focus is actually playing real nicely but you don't want to leave it this way so that it doesn't scream the back is screaming the video in focus is screaming so we apply the blur effect to the um video behind by clicking the filters adding another filter and then typing in the search bar blur then you want to go to blur exponential to be able to affect the entire uh, video with the blur effect so as it is now I'll just increase the blur amount to somewhere here notice if I increase it totally to 100% everything is blurred out and the video in focus is having field day so um, but I want to reduce it a bit so you see how it plays so guys you can you can actually play around with the blur amount to get the exact uh, to get it how you want it so um, as it is now uh, if I remove the blur and then render the video and then you will see how it play it plays real nice you can see the video in the middle is playing but I advise that you play around with the blur behind so guys this is how it is done picture in picture with shortcut thank you for watching today's video see you in the next